Milk is a product of the mammary glands in mammal. When still at school, they used to tell us that it's a product of mammal femurs, but this is no longer true due to Professor Vrace. Here we have three samples of milk, cow, the women, and the men. It is obvious at the first sight that the milks look very different. The milk of the both premier female, that is the domestic cattle, is medium thick, white in color, slightly sweet in taste. The content of protein and other beneficial substance is compared to the human milk very poor. The children of up to 12 months of age, cow's milk or the milk from other domestic animals is highly uns unsuitable. The human milk, the gala matter, is a different matter altogether. It is beautiful to look at and wonderful to taste. Children digest it very well and besides the number of nutrients, it contains the immunity boosting substance which is the immunoglobulin and lymphocytes. At the same time, it also controls other life functions. It can be said that mother's milk is the ideal source of nutrients in the infant period. The ideal one, yet not the most ideal. Now, a complete Rolls Royce amongst the human milk is the father's milk. Galapata is actually completely unique. Male mama glands produce 20% of less milk, yet the nutrient value is whole 50% higher when compared to other milks. We can see the obvious difference, if only for color which is richer and yellower. This is the result of the ideal proportion between fats, protein, and fatty acids. In consistency, the milk is denser, it doesn't have a laxative, and due to its effect of fiber content, it keeps the infant body virginally clean. Another thing worth mentioning is the temperature. In the breast, both mothers and fathers have uh, milk have the same ideal temperature of 37.5 degrees Celsius. If, however, you want to store the mother's milk, you have to keep it in the fridge for and warm it up prior to serving it, which deprives it of a part of the nutrients. Male milk, if stored for a shorter time, doesn't have to be warmed at all. This is due to the covalent bonds where the atoms of opposite spin are released and gradually. The result of the bond energy is a growing temperature of the molecule which ensures the constant milk temperature. Let's check this with a little test that you can try on your own at home. All you need is a thermometer and a milk. This sample was extracted from the breast a moment ago and placed in the fridge for at the temperature of 7 degrees Celsius for approximately 50 minutes. Now let's drop or uh, put the thermometer inside the, 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 the father's milk. Have a look. 36.5 degrees Celsius. Amazing.